Hi, everyone. Welcome to Let's Talk in English on PTX. Where you are going to learn something new today. My name is Gabe. And I'm Andrea. We continue to learn how to talk about studying abroad, going to another place or another country to study. Well, friends, we have some key words to study and learn together, so let's begin by saying them together. Our first one is interview. Interview. John had an interview at ABC Company. The boss asked him many questions. Fee. Fee. The fee to take these classes is $25. You can pay now. History. History. Allison likes learning about the past in history class. And we like to review key words, so say them with us again. Interview. Interview. Fee. Fee. History. History. Great job, everyone. Now let's go find what our mission is. So we need to find Eddie. That's right. Hey, Eddie. Eddie. Oh, yeah. There you are, Eddie. Yeah. Well, uh, for a small fee, maybe I can. Give... Eddie, give us the mission. No fee. Oh. Eddie, we never give you a fee for the mission. You're always excited to give it to us. I just wanted more money. Okay, never mind. I'll give it to you for free. Oh, uh, good. That's what I like to do. Okay, hear. here it is. <clears throat> what will Sarah study in Italy? What will Sarah study in Italy? We'll find out today. Let's begin with our lesson. High school in Italy sounds good, and the application isn't too long. But I have to write an 800-word essay. Hmm, what about? About why I want to study in Italy. I need to say how the program will help me. Good thing you're a writer. Do you have to do an interview too? No, I just send the application, the essay, and a $100 application fee. Hello everyone and welcome back. Andrea, um, <clears throat> where did you grow up? Well, Gabe, I grew up in Canada. In Canada? Yes. Okay, that's great. And what did you study in school? What did I study? Gabe, what are you doing? Andrea, I'm doing an interview with you. Oh, an interview. Okay, I see. Well, that's a key word. Let's learn it. Interview. Interview. An interview is a time where one person is asking questions and another person is answering the questions. And sometimes you have to make an appointment for an interview. You know, this word can also be a verb. If you interview someone, that means you have an interview with them. Now, why do you have an interview? Well, you can have a job interview to see if you get a job. At a school interview, the school learns more about you and you learn more about the school. An interview is a time to get to know someone better. Hey, Andrea, can yes. I continue our interview? Oh, please continue our interview. Okay, here's a question. <clears throat> what is your favorite color? My favorite color is blue. Blue, that's great. Uh, I have another question. Do you like keywords? Yes, Gabe, I love keywords, and I, I love this interview. Great. Well, thank you very much, Andrea, for your interview and for your time. Well, you're welcome, Gabe. And let's look at that next keyword. It is fee. Fee. A fee is money that you must pay for something. You have to pay a fee to apply to a school. So you could say something like, the fee for the school program is $200. Well, 
What will you study in the program? I'll study Italian, art history, and some other things. Are the classes taught in Italian or English? Some are in Italian and some are in English. Wow, you'll have to learn Italian fast. She will. It's easy. I can speak Italian. No, you can't. Sure, I can. Spaghetti, pizza, fettuccine. Ah. Good thing that's all you need to know. Pizza, fettuccine. These kind of sound like Italian words, don't they? Well, yes, they do. I guess it's true. Max can speak Italian. He can speak a little Italian anyway. Well, hey everybody, we found the answer to our mission here in this conversation. The mission is: What will Sarah study in Italy? What will Sarah study in Italy? Sarah will study Italian, art history. And some other things. Oh, her study program sounds like so much fun! I want to go to Italy now. Well, I also want to teach a key word, and that word、uh... is history. So say it with me again: history. History is anything that has already happened. And when you're studying history in school, you are studying things that have happened in the world. You can study different kinds of history. You can learn about the history of a country or a place. Sarah wants to study art history. She'll learn about the history of different artists and paintings. She'll learn about things from the past. And if you are studying history in a class, then you can say, "I am taking a history class." You know, you can also study the history of different languages. If you really like English, you might want to study the history of the English language. Song time. Hello, everybody. It's that time again. Do you know what time it is? That's right. It's song time. And this month we have a new song for you. And. We have Rex here with us again. Hey, Rex. Hey, Gabe. That's right. This month there is a new song, and it's called "Dare to Dream." Dare to dream. Wait, I thought that you only dream when you sleep. How do you dare to dream? You dream when you're sleeping, but dreaming here means、uh, something else.、Um, when you dream, you think big about something you want to do. In the future. Okay, that's right. So most people do want to do something good for the world. What do you want to do for the world? What do you dream to be? Do you dream to be a doctor? Do you dream to be a teacher? Do you dream to be a singer? Do you want to fly an airplane? These are all different kinds of dreams that people have. Hey, Gabe, what's one dream that you have? Oh, one dream I have is to play drums for a big band. Rex, what's one dream that you have? I want to be a great singer. <laughs> Wait, Rex, that's funny because you are a good singer. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. So, why does the song say "Dare to Dream"? When you dare to do something, that means it's uncomfortable to do something, but you want to do it anyway. So. Is it uncomfortable to dream? Yes, sometimes it's scary to dream for something big. But I hope this song will help people believe that they can do a lot of things that they dream about if they believe. It's a good reminder. So the song starts out deep within. You'll find your faith. Now, faith is what you need to believe that you can do something big. And can you find faith on the outside? No, I don't think so, Gabe. Faith is put deep within you. If you have faith, you can do anything. So if you have faith, you can step out from the shadows and from behind the silhouette. You can do anything. Now, what does it mean to step out from the shadows? If you're in the shadows, that means you're not in the light where everybody can see you. And sometimes it's not easy to go in the light where everybody can see you. It's easier to stay in the shadows. 在影子里面
So this song is telling us to step out from the shadows and from behind the silhouette. That's a special word, silhouette, S-I-L-H-O-U-E-T-T-E. -E. So a silhouette is a kind of shadow. Now the next part of the song says you will be glowing like the sun. Your life has just begun. Now everybody, really, your life started a long time ago, but this means that you will feel alive when you dare to dream. That's right, and if something glows, that means it gives light and everybody can see it. And if you have faith and dare to dream, then you will step out of the shadows and become bright like the sun. Well, let's look at another part of this song. It says, should you stumble, you won't fall. What does it mean to stumble? Stumble yo Whoa, Rex, are you okay? You almost fell. I only stumbled. I didn't fall on the ground. That's good. Just like the song says, should you stumble, you won't fall. That means if you stumble, you won't fall. Sometimes the word should also means if. Like, Rex, should you leave? I will have nobody to talk to. That's okay. You can just listen to a song. Which song? Dare to Dream. Deep within you find your faith You will have no regrets Step up from the shadows And from behind the silhouette Now you're glowing like the sun Your life has just begun Should you stumble, you won't fall Just believe and have faith one who sees it all He'll never let you fall If you just dare to dream Dare to believe You can soar so high beyond the clouds Discovering where dreams are found to dream, dare to believe, God knows all that you can do, how far you go is up to Him and you, dare to dream, dare to believe, this is your once in a lifetime, this is your moment, your time to shine, any dream is Life is so incredible when you can dream. Conversation replay. High school in Italy sounds good, and the application isn't too long. But I have to write an 800 word essay. Mm, what about? About why I want to study in Italy. I need to say how the program will help me. Good thing you're a writer. Do you have to do an interview too? No, I just send the application, the essay, and a $100 application fee. What will you study in the program? I'll study Italian, art history, and some other things. Are the classes taught in Italian or English? Some are in Italian and some are in English. Wow, you'll have to learn Italian fast. She will. It's easy. I can speak Italian. No, you can't. Sure I can. Spaghetti, pizza, fettuccine. Ah. Good thing that's all you need to know. Calendar Phrase Guess what? What? What, Andrea? I'm going to study abroad. You are? You're leaving us? Oh, well, no, no. Okay, no, I'm not really going to study abroad. You're not? No, it's today's calendar phrase. Oh, we're good. I'm going 
to study abroad. Say it with me again. I'm going to study abroad. If you decided to go to a new place, a new country to study, then use our calendar phrase. Yeah, and Andrea, I'm glad you're not going anywhere. <laughs> I'm staying right here, but you are going to learn more about this calendar phrase. I'm going to study abroad. I'm going to study abroad. I'm going to study abroad. Really? Yes, I'm going to study abroad. Where? In France. But you don't know anything about France. Will you be scared? Maybe a little, but that won't stop me. I'm going to study abroad. I'm going to study abroad. I'm going to study abroad. Yes, friends, it is time to practice with the question of the day now, Eddie. Do we need to pay a fee for this question?、Mm, no, not today.、Okay. Thank you, Eddie. Good, thank so, you. what's the question? Okay, all right. Let's see. All right. <clears throat> Where would you like to study abroad? Why? Where would you like to study abroad? Why? Well, I would like to study abroad somewhere in Europe. There are many beautiful places in Europe. Great answer, Gabe. Ask someone this question today and practice your answer. Then join us tomorrow right here on Let's Talk in English on PTS, where learning English can be fun. Bye, bye, bye everybody. Bye. <laughs>